Hi everyone, welcome to the NTs at the corner and welcome to our tutorial about determining the equation of a quadratic function given its zeros. Ang roots ng isang quadratic function ay tinatawag ring zeros or x-intercepts. And in this tutorial, gagamitin natin ang format na ito para makuha ang equation ng isang quadratic function given ang kanyang roots or zeros or x-intercepts. Now, ang r sub 1 dito sa ating pattern ay yung first root. And yung r sub 2, that is our second root. Now, let's have some examples. Our first example is find the equation of a quadratic function whose zeros are 4 and positive 2. Since we have here 4 and 2 as the roots or zeros, gagamitin natin, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, yung pattern natin na f of x is equal to quantity x minus r sub 1 times the quantity x minus r sub 2. Okay, so si 4 at saka si 2, equate natin yan into x since alam naman natin na ang mga yan ay values of x ng ating quadratic function. So we have here x is equal to 4 at yung pangalawang 0 naman is x is equal to 2. So ang proseso na ating gagawin ay pabalik. So from the roots, kailangan natin kuhanin ang equation. Now, equate naman natin into 0 ang ating equations na x equals 4 and x equals 2. We're going to use addition property of equality. We have to add negative 4 to both sides para ma-eliminate natin or maging 0 itong side na ito ng unang equation natin. So, using addition property, we have x minus 4 is equal to 4 minus 4. So, nag-add tayo both sides ng negative 4. Therefore, itong right side ay magiging 0 na. And then, we have now x minus 4. Next, dito sa kabila ng mga equation, we have x is equal to 2. Ang goal natin rin ay gawing 0 ang nasa right side ng ating equation. Same process, we're going to use the addition property of equality. The additive inverse of 2, we have negative 2. So, yun yung ipang add natin, both sides of the equation. This will become 0 and then may x minus 2 tayo sa left side. Now, kukuhanin na natin ang binomials na ito, x minus 4 at saka yung x minus 2 para makuha natin yung factored form ng equation na ating hinahanap. So, it will become f of x is equal to quantity x minus 4. So, kinuha natin ito, yung binomial na x minus 4, times the quantity x minus 2. Kinuha naman natin yung sa isa pang equation na binomial, which is x minus 2. So, kung yung factored form ng equation ang pinapakuha, so this can be your final answer. Pero, kung general form ng equation ang kailangan, we just multiply the two binomials. Okay? Maaari tayong gumamit ng FOIL method. So, this will become f of x is equal to x times x, we have x squared. And then, x times negative 2, we have negative 2x. Negative 4 times x, we have negative 4x. And then, negative 4 times negative 2, we have positive 8. And then, simplify, combine like terms. Negative 2x minus 4x, we have negative 6x. Now, ito na yung ating equation. We have f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8. So, mula sa ating zeros na 4 and 2, nagkaroon tayo ng equation ng quadratic function. Now, let's have our second example. What if our given is, we're going to find the equation of the quadratic function na may roots na 2 and negative 3, but it must contain the point 0, 3. So, may additional tayong given dito. Yung kanina, wala tayong ganitong given. Yung contains the point 0, 3 or kung anumang point. So, ano yung ating gagawin? Dagdagan lang natin yung pattern natin na ginamit kanina sa factored form ng function ng A. Okay? So, mamaya malalaman natin paano natin gagamitin yung point dito sa pagkuha ng equation. So, gawin muna natin yung method na ginawa natin kanina using the roots or zeros na 2 and negative 3. Equate muna natin sa x pareho. We have x is equal to 2 and then x is equal to negative 3. Now, gawin natin 0 yung kabilang side ng equations ng x equals 2 tsaka ng x is equal to negative 3. Dito muna tayo sa x equals 2. 
at both sides by negative 2 para maging 0 yung nasa right side. This will become x minus 2 is equal to 0. Same process dito sa kabilang equation. We have x plus 3 is equal to negative 3 plus 3. Okay, using addition property of equality, magiging 0 yung nasa right side. Ang may iwan ay x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, ganun ulit. Kuhanin natin yung binomials and ilagay natin as factors ng ating quadratic equation. Now, dito kung mapapansin natin, yung a, wala pa siyang value which is kailangan natin makuha. Dito natin ngayon gagamitin yung point na 0, 3. So, tandaan natin sa point na to, yung x ay 0 at ang y naman ay 3. So, remember, itong f of x, this is the same with y. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, i-replace -re natin yung y natin, yung f of x, at saka yung x dito sa kabilang side ng mga values ng x and y dito sa ating point. Okay? So, yung 3 gamitin natin dito sa f of x or dun sa y natin. So, that's 3. And then, yung a, wala pang value, times the quantity, yung x, papalitan natin ng 0. So, we have here 0 minus 2 times the quantity, yung x, palitan natin ng 0 plus 3. Okay, so continuation, kuhanin natin yung ating nabuong equation dito. We have 3 is equal to a times the quantity 0 minus 2 times the quantity 0 plus 3. 0 minus 2, that is negative 2, and then 0 plus 3, that is positive 3. Okay? So, sinimplify lang natin. Now, we have 3 is equal to, multiply, negative 2 times 3, we have negative 6 times a, we have negative 6a. Now, since our goal is to solve for a, we have to multiply both sides by negative 1 over 6, or just divide both sides by negative 6. We have negative 6 divided by negative 6, that's 1. Okay? 1a Pwede kong isulat na lang as a. And then yung 3 divided by negative 6, we can simplify this into negative 1 half. Okay, we just simplify negative 3, 6. Okay, kaya naging negative 1 half siya. Lowest term. So that's it. Yung a natin is equal to negative 1 half. Pwede na natin ipalit yan doon sa nakuha nating equation kanina kung saan wala pang value si a, ngayon mayroon na. So we have f of x is equal to negative 1 half, which is our a, times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 3. So, ito yung nakuha nating equation ng quadratic function na naka-factored form. Okay, again, kapag gusto natin na gawing general form yan, we just multiply our binomials first. Okay, ito muna, gamamit tayo ng FOIL method. Multiply x times x, we have x squared. And then x times positive 3, we have positive 3x. Negative 2 times x, we have negative 2x. And then negative 2 times 3, we have negative 6. Kopyahin lang natin muna yung negative 1 half. Now, simplify muna natin itong nakuha nating product. Okay, combine like terms. So, yung 3x minus 2x, it will become x. Tapos, i-multiply natin si negative 1 half dito sa mga nasa loob or sa ating trinomial or distribute natin si negative 1 half, okay? Negative 1 half times x squared, we have negative 1 half x squared. And then negative 1 half times x, we have negative 1 half x. Next, we have negative 1 half times negative 6, okay? So, negative times negative, that is positive. Alam naman natin na ang 6 ay may denominator na 1, okay? So, numerator to numerator, 1 times yung 6 natin, we have 6. And then, 2 times yung denominator na 1, we have 2. Simplify natin ito kasi divisible naman. So, that will become positive 3. So, our equation is f of x is equal to negative 1 half x squared minus 1 half x plus 3. So, ito na yung ating final equation. That's it for our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.